So the new battle pass is here, North Star Divided. Very similar to Roth Valley with uh, even more underwhelming rewards. However, in fact, it's not that bad as there's one reward which we could not exactly see what was within it. And it was this pack here, exactly. It is the North Dark Choice Pack. You could read through the blog and I made a video going over essentially all the rewards that you were obtaining from it. And you could see that it stated the North Dark Choice Pack was here, and contains items from prior battle passes but it doesn't say exactly what and in the first milestone we also get the vanity pet choice pack which again doesn't say what vanity pets are there at all so we can finally actually see that but with this battle pass again this time around you're still gonna have to do like your random cues but you'll also have to do a heroic encounter within the north dark reaches so you'll have to travel there and you specifically need to complete a major heroic encounter so like from darkness here or the prison break up here or you'll have like the purple worms one up here and you can see it's got the fancy icon around it whereas these ones are the smaller heroics so make sure you're doing those ones you can see the exact amount of XP you need to obtain all the rewards is 4,000. And every time you complete a heroic encounter, you get 75. Every time you do a random dungeon, you get 135. And every time a random skirmish or trial, 115. Just keep in mind, you'll only get rewarded that XP once per day. And you can stack up those days up to like three days and then do it all at once. Do like three heroic encounters in one day, three skirmishes and three dungeons. And you'll then get your three days worth of XP in one day. And that'll just save you from yeah having to do it every day if you didn't really want to. And so you can see it's going to take us just over 12 days to complete the entire battle pass milestone getting those 4000 points that's not bad at all all things considered that's less than half the time of which the battle pass is going to be active if you do not intend to get the premium pass which there's not going to be much reason to do so then you only have five weeks per milestone to get your full completion just be aware of that and you can see that the first milestone does say it ends on March the 21st. However, just keep in mind they've actually updated this now. The next milestone will begin on January the 3rd, which is the exact date the first milestone will end. And then the third one will start on February the 7th. And that's when the second part ends. So just be aware of those dates if you're not intending to get the premium pass. If you do intend to get the premium pass, well, you can complete them all at once by the time the third one starts and you can just forget about it altogether. But you want to kind of be doing random queues anyway for like your rough AD and you can very simply do, do the skirmish queue and the random dungeon queue. You get plenty of rough astral diamonds and yeah, to be honest, that's pretty advantageous and doesn't take much effort at all. No need to do the advanced or the trial dungeon queue. If you do want like Seals of the Dragon, just go and do your ancient dragon hunts. You get 40 per chest when you beat it. Let's get back to the point. The new battle pass is here. What should you be excited about? Well, again, there is that new pack, the North Dark Choice Pack, you may have seen earlier. It obtains the Neverwinter Hawk, the Neverwinter Standard Artifact Pack, the Neverwinter Knight, the Repurposed Phylactery Artifact Pack, a Guard Drake, a Glorious Panda, a Panda Companion, the Dragonfire, which is this wondrous item here that was exclusive to a Roth Valley, and the a Legendary Insignia if you don't want any of those. Yeah, okay then, Cryptic, why not? It just means the reason that you were to get the Roth Valley Battle Pass for that dragon fire is also then in existence for this one. So you'll still be able to obtain it and they probably have no intent to nerf it until this battle pass is over. Yeah, typical. Then you can watch my overview videos of it as I went and tested that dragon fire. And it's basically the belt, the best belt item for dealing damage against bosses. And I, I like that it's also usable against AOE. So you don't have to switch between like a doohickey 
and like the hawk you could just use the dragon fire against everything overall the rewards themselves are pretty underwhelming you can see them all just here you get some master lock boxes some shards a coal moat if you have the premium pass there along with you can see this vanity pet choice back which yeah it's just vanity pets but it does obtain very nicely if you're not interested in those vanity pets a legendary insignia choice pack so at least they're adding those options in. And you can see that here again on the store. If you were to buy the premium pass, it's got those vanity pets right there. It's got the mini panda from the previous battle pass. It's got the tenors floating disc, arcane whirlwind, etc. Of all of those, just vanity pets, useless, whatever. Get a legendary insignia if you want character progression. But you can see the rest of the rewards there and ultimately the third milestone is also pretty disappointing but for free to play players it's very nice with a free coalescent moat if you get all the progress at least there is that additionally you'll get a whole chunk of mountain companion upgrade tokens there that's not too bad amount all things considered and that's really it for this battle pass it's simply just rewards you can obtain for just playing the game and i'm not going to complain about it i hardly doubt they spent much budget to create it so it's not like they could have spent that budget on like say something else and made something vastly more superior yes they could have gone and spent some more budget to make some new items to introduce to the battle pass and yeah maybe they just didn't have that budget to do that they spend it on something else who knows i don't know what they're up to of course they're trying to make money but on top of that they want to keep us happy and ultimately i'm not going to complain about this battle pass it's free rewards you can get for just playing and yes it now does also have like the, the belt item there the neverwinter knight the hawk if you wanted it too ultimately from this pack it's like a hard choice between the knight and the dragon fire if you don't ha already have the dragon fire that's probably the best option here since you don't have to invest anything to obtain that extra damage and ultimately it will give you a bit more damage than using like the knight alternatively if you do have like even the hawk i would then take the neverwinter knight the hawk's not that bad and the knight itself is like really good for just a damage boost here in your bonuses and it'll just help you against everything but that's about it the next battle pass is now live rewards nothing special everything we've seen before and well that's it that's all i can really say Otherwise, yes, if you do intend to get the premium pass, I would recommend making that decision now rather than later because you'll get the best discount possible, which is 30% off. You never really get that other than maybe around the Jubilee. And then this time it was around Black Friday. You get that for a week and that's it, I believe. Otherwise, you can get at most a 20% off. Yes, you can consider that's not that big a deal. It's maybe you're saving 250 Zen, but... For some people, that's a lot. Two euro and 50 cent. Depends who you are. Special thank you again to these channel members for their added support. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.